so now in this video now we'll try to learn how to do update okay uh, for mongodb db using that node so last time we already learned how to do insert okay so now i will go ahead and create one new more file okay and i will put that name as update dot js okay so now in update first thing as usual what we need to do we need to create that const okay and db connection okay equals to require uh, set require mongo db okay and now so we imported that mongo db that file where we have all those connections so where we have connected our db name and collection name okay so now next is that we need to create that uh one arrow function so now we'll go ahead and create no const okay update data just to async we need to create because it's going to return us promise and then arrow function okay so now again first we'll try to import this as a db that connection so db connect okay so here we imported this one so as we know that this will also return a sync function so promise it will return so we need to make that a wait okay so this one also done now we'll create one variable more and we can put that name as result okay and this also will make that Event because this also going to return us promise so now what we going to do now db dot update so now we have to do things update many or update one so right now i'm going to do update one okay so in this one now we need to pass that with in this one we need to do pass two parameters first one uh, what we need to do i will show you in two way first i'm passing that name okay and what will be that name i will go and see suppose i will go and try to update this amit this record okay so where name equals to amit okay and then I put that comma. I will go put now dollar symbol set. Okay. I will try to update name equals to one. Okay. So I will try to update this one in this way. this will start this will end it here no okay and then i will go ahead and put console just a minute i think one more extra came so this one is started this one ending here and then this got started this going to get it end it here no why i started here so already i have here one more okay so because i started here so okay so this one is done for that condition and this one what we going to update okay so now we'll put that console dot log and then we'll put that result okay and then we'll come outside and call that update function the data okay so now 
it's done now we'll save this one we'll open that new terminal and we will put that node update dot js so before this one i will go and show you in mongos that i will do that refresh two records are there name is a myth okay so now i'm trying to update a myth with a myth one so i will go ahead and put that enter so you can see it's showing that it's true it's done modified modified count equals to one updated insert count zero match record found one okay so now if i go and try to do it refresh it you can see now it's got updated okay so now in this way what we can go and do it sorry now <clears throat> this time i pass that name and trying to update that name only now i will pass that name or i will pass that in place of name i will try to update that name and i will pass that some other value so suppose what else i can pass suppose i wanted to pass class as 12 okay so we'll pass and c need to be capital okay or else it will not return anything as usual we will be aware of that is case sensitive so now i corrected it i will save this one and we'll open new terminal and then we'll try to use that node update dot js okay so now you can see one modified and match count was only one so now we'll go ahead and try to see that if you do that refresh you can see now this got updated in the same way if you wanted to update more than one so you have to use that update many and then you need to push that array in that way you can do it that i will show you when i will create that api Meanwhile, you can try to explore it. If you have any doubt, please let me know. I will help you there. Okay, thank you.